This is a stimulus update and daily news report. Got some important updates to share with you. I'll give you the latest of what's going on with student loan forgiveness and President Biden's promise of $10,000 of federal student loans being forgiven. Also, stimulus check update. 16 cities and states offering universal basic income payments up to $12,000. And stimulus checks 2022. Will the American Rescue Plan affect stimulus money? And I'll give you the latest of what's going on if you're missing any previous stimulus money of what to do and some other important updates along the way. Hope you you're having a terrific Thursday. If you appreciate the fact-based, fast-paced updates, hit the like button down below. So Biden's student debt pledge stalls frustrating supporters. So President Back stalled legislation in to cancel $10,000 in debt and plans for executive action aren't known. So kind of a weird thing that went ha that happened. So President Biden campaigned on the promise of $10,000 of federal student loans being forgiven. He hasn't mentioned anything. There's been a lot of pressure from Democrats on President Biden, but nothing has come out of it yet. So AOC calls student loan forgiveness the right thing to do and says she's not sure why Biden hasn't done it yet. So originally, President Biden kind of was able to buy some time. He said that he has to check with the education secretary and see if he has the power to do it through executive order. We haven't heard anything since. I think that was about eight months ago. So what AOC said here is, I cannot understate the danger and risk economically, politically, and just where we are right now as a country of allowing the moratorium on student loan payment to lapse in May. Uh, if we just allow a full continuation of student loan payments, we are talking about a catastrophic development development for millions. So let me know your thoughts on this. So if you don't have student loans or if you do have student loans, is it the right thing to do to cancel student loans? I know a lot of your comments have said it was a person's choice to go to college, a person's choice to take out those loans. Uh, but should they be, for be forgiven or not? Uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Here's some more video clip footage talking what's going on in the latest. It's been two years now since anyone paid on student loans. And quite frankly, We've had a taste of how much that helps. So if we cancel $50,000 in student loan debt, it's not like it'll have an inflationary effect. That's already now baked into the economy, the fact that people are not making these payments. Senator Warren, along with Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, have been most vocal on the issue of debt cancellation. The president can do it with the flick of a pen. All he has to do is sign an executive order. He doesn't need a single senator. He doesn't need a single Congress member on his side. And in recent weeks, more senators and House members have joined Warren and Schumer's push on this issue. You recently have had a, a letter where 80 of your colleagues have signed and you've sent it off to the president asking him to do this widespread cancellation of federal loans. Um, what have you been hearing back from him? Is it, Do you see any movement where he might do this in the short term? I'm not going to talk about private conversations. But let me put it this way. The president has now multiple times extended the period of time that no one has to make any payments on student loan debt, regardless of their circumstances. So can the president do it? Of course he can do it. You know how I know that? Because President Obama did it, because President Trump did it, and now because President Biden has done it. The language that authorizes the debt also authorizes modification and cancellation of that debt. President Biden, to his credit, has already canceled $15 billion in student loan debt. So the tools are there. But Biden, as well as Speaker Nancy Pelosi, have said larger amounts of debt cancellation has to be an act of Congress. The Department of Education has said it would investigate Biden's legal authority to cancel more debt, but the administration has yet to release a memo with those findings. The interest rates on federal loans is something that has been very concerning for decades for many borrowers. Is there any interest on your part or those lawmakers who are standing with you to look at that aspect while you may be waiting for the president to make a decision looking at reform on the interest rates. I am glad to bring down the interest rate on student loans. The very first bill I introduced as a brand new senator was to reduce the interest rate on student loans. Right now, though, I really want to keep the focus on debt cancellation. How do you sell this to Americans who say, you know what, I paid my student loans, it was difficult, or I decided to go to 
uh, a cheaper college or, you know, those who went to Ivy League schools shouldn't have their debt repaid or debt canceled. How do you sell this urgency to those Americans who say this isn't this wouldn't be fair? You know, I help pay for public roads, the interstate highway that runs through South Dakota. I don't drive on it. I haven't so far and I may never drive on it. But it benefits all of us that it's there. It's a part of how we build an economy that works for everyone. We invest in our interstate highway system. We invest in the things that create opportunity for everyone. We invest in education for second graders. We invest in education for 10th graders. We know now in a 21st century economy, we need to be investing in education for kids post high school, not not crushing them with debt and holding them back and further dividing them from wealthier kids, but investing in their education. So if they're willing to do the work, then we're willing to help make sure they get a chance to do it. So what are your thoughts on that? Student loans being forgiven? Good idea, bad idea? Let me know down in the comments below. Next, let's go over the latest universal basic income cities. So stimulus check update, 16 cities and states offering universal basic income payments up to $12,000. So uh, let's go over these. Uh, let's start off uh, with the first one, Alaska. Alaska is the OG when it comes to UBI. So they are giving out $1,114 per person. Uh, and that just goes out every year. This has nothing to do with the economy or anything. Alaska just, they give out the money every single year to the residents. Uh, then we have Birmingham, Alabama. So 100 mothers will receive $375 a month for one year. Uh, they began accepting applications January 31st, and I think it goes until February 7th. Uh, Chicago will be offering uh, 5,000 families $1,000 per month. Uh, so for anybody who earns less than $35,000, or sorry, they're going to get $500 per month. My bad. All right, Columbia, uh, South Carolina. Dads in Columbia, South Carolina are going to get $500 per month. That's going to 100 low-income dads. Then Durham, North Carolina, 115 North Carolina residents that were incarcerated will get the $500 per month for one year. Then we have in Georgia, two UBI programs. So first, around 650 black women in Georgia are set to get monthly $850 payments over the next two years. And then the second one is in Atlanta, uh, 300 residents who are at least 18 years old live below the poverty line. That's uh, They're going to get $500 per month for a 12-month period. Then we have Jackson, Mississippi. They are going to give uh, black mothers in Jackson $1,000 a month for one year with no strings attached. Then uh, we have Los Angeles. So 3,200 families will get $1,000 monthly payments for a year. Uh, officially, that's the biggest one at the moment besides Chicago in terms of amount. And this is actually going on right now. So Minneapolis, uh, there will be 200 families chosen to receive $500 every month for two years. Newark, New Jersey is going to give 400 residents uh, $12,000 over the course of two years. So it's going to be split up. So it's going to be $250 on a biweekly basis. And then $3,000 each year. Uh, so they're splitting it up there. Then we have New Orleans. Uh, we have $350 monthly payments for 10 months. Those are for only 16 to 24 year olds. Then New York State, I think we have a few different ones here. So uh, for three years, 2,700 artists are going to get Where's the number? I think they get four, $1,446 over that period of time. And then there's also uh, in New York City, so 100 New York City's mothers with children under the age of three will get $1,000 per month for three years. Then Pittsburgh is uh, 200 households are going to get $500 per month for two years. Then Rochester, New York is going to be $500 payments for 175 low-income families for 12 months. 
Then we have Shreveport, Louisiana. This is going to be uh, $660 payment per month for 12 months. Uh, to get this, you have to be a resident of the city and be a single parent with an income of 120% below the poverty line. Then we have Washington, D.C. on January 13th. Uh, they announced this, so it's going to be $900 per month for one year to 132 new and expectant mothers. Uh, so yeah, that one's going to, did I say the amount? Yeah, $900 per month for the year. Uh, yeah, so those are all of the latest universal basic income programs. Uh, let me know, is this a good idea, bad idea, all these UBI programs? Should there be more? Should it be in every city and state? Should this be a national thing? Let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, next, stimulus checks 2022. Will the American Rescue Plan affect stimulus money? So the American Rescue Plan Act was signed into law by President Biden in March 2021, almost an entire year ago. Uh, it provided a third stimulus payment for millions of Americans. Some people could still get financial relief because of the American Rescue Plan Act. So basically what this, what this uh, article is talking about is that some people are still owed money under the American Rescue Plan. Uh, uh, will there be any future money? At this point, we don't know if there's going to be a future fourth stimulus check. Based on the way things are going, the economy, job market not looking so good, uh, the stock market is down, Omicron not surging as much, we don't have any potential lockdowns, uh, but people are struggling a lot right now. The uh, low-income people are struggling a lot, so there may be more type of aid, or there should be more type of aid going to that group of people. Uh, so how to file your taxes for free and collect missing stimulus money. Take a look at this video here teaching you how to claim any missing stimulus money as well as do tax returns. Begun. And a lot of people still have questions about those stimulus payments from the government. Consumer reporter Samantha Chapman is here with some answers this morning, Sam. That is right, Tarot and Tanya. We want to make sure everyone receives the stimulus payments that they are entitled to. So joining us live this morning is Trudy Howard from Howard Tax Prep LLC. Good morning, Good morning. to you, Trudy, and thank you for joining us. So first of all, when people started calling our hotline, calling me saying, Samantha, I still haven't received my first or second or third stimulus payment. I'm like, how is that possible? That's a great question, and I'm sorry to hear that. So the first and second stimulus payments should have been claimed when they filed their 2020 tax return. Now, there are some people that don't have to file a tax return because they don't have a filing requirement. Their payments should have gone out if they had Social Security or the IRS had a non-filer tool. But unfortunately, that non-filer tool has been closed as of now. So they could pretty much just file for stimulus one and two, just go and file a 2020 tax return. And then for the third stimulus payment that came out in 2021, you can still file your tax return for 2021 and you can claim that credit on when you file your taxes this year. Is it a pretty easy process uh, to, to, to file for that, that money that you didn't get last year? Is that something that people are gonna need help with? Or is that something that people can, if I didn't get a stimulus payment, I could just go ahead and do it online myself? Well, unfortunately, the IRS system is really kind of bad right now. They are still processing like 1.7 million tax returns. So you may need a professional to get through to kind of show you how to pull your transcripts um, and just to kind of call the IRS. So it's going to be a little bit frustrating. But if you are savvy with online, you can go and sign up for an online account. Um, this year, it should be fairly easy. If you don't have a filing requirement, the IRS isn't doing a non-filers tool, but you could file a tax return with $1, uh, showing $1 in income, and then that should allow you to at least have a tax return generated so that you can get your stimulus payment. All right, got it. And we talked to you about this uh, in, in the thick of the pandemic. There were so many people calling me saying, Samantha, I filed my taxes and I have been waiting months, months yes. to get my, my refund. Are you anticipating something like this for this season, Trudy? Absolutely, because unfortunately the IRS still has not recovered from the shutdown that took place. Um, like I said, they have 1.7 million and those returns were actually electronically filed paper returns, there's still less than a million returns that have to be worked by hand. So we are definitely expecting delays. Additionally, with all of the advanced credit payments this year, there are going to be some delays because if there is one number off, the IRS will definitely hold up your refund. And you were telling us the big takeaway is file as soon as possible, right? Yes, definitely you want to file as soon as possible. You want to make sure that you have your letters, though, especially with this economic uh, stimulus payment. It's 
letter 6475. If you can just kind of hold off until you get that, but let's say you never get your letters. The IRS does have a new system called ID Me. You can log on and you want to do this as soon as possible because I've heard that the IRS soon will be uh, requiring you to take a selfie to register. So you want to go ahead and set up your ID Me account now so that you can see your transcripts to make sure that you have the right numbers. Let me know, have you been successful in filing your taxes to claim any missing stimulus money? Have you been able to somehow get the other half of your child tax credit? Let me know down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully brighten your day a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, just so you know, you guys are so, you guys are, you guys are great to me, you guys are special to me, I need you here beside me, and you are so nice, do you know why, cause, cause you're so nice. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate all of your support. Hopefully you have a great rest of your Thursday. I was able to play some pickleball last night, had a really good time, and uh, it was a little cold, probably like in the 40s, but which isn't really too cold for Myrtle Beach. Hopefully you're having a great rest of your day. If you want to, <laughs> if you want to check out my latest uh, Wise Vibes video, uh, you can click up here, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.